I don't know how to explain this to Greg Cody and Stugatz exactly in ways that they would understand. Hmm. Uh, but the Internet, I am told, because we are three old people, uh, the Internet has told me that I have beef with 21 Savage. I think I could say to either Stugatz or Greg Cody that his name is Savage 21 and they would not know the difference. But I don't want to be having beef with with. 21 Savage. <laughs> do, you not, do you guys know what is happening right now? This is an uncomfortable spot for me because I don't want beef with this man, but I'm, uh, I'm offended by how I've been portrayed by him. And I think it's, it, I think it's offensive. By I, 21 Savage. Or, or, his, or his people. What'd uh, you do to him? I don't know what I did to him. We, we interviewed him on the show. I don't remember it being upsetting to him. But ne next thing I know, I'm in a movie trailer that's cartoonishly ridiculous. It's, it's something that mocks me and my father in a way that is wrong and deeply offensive, but really nailed Bomani yeah. Jones, like nailed it on Bomani. Uh, <laughs> but with, with me, they have a problem. Suspiciously, no problem with Bomani Jones. Beautiful hair. But me, I'm pointing and aggressive. Looks less, nothing like me. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. The pointing and aggressive. Did you watch the local the hour? The pocket square looks uh, a little similar. Mm -hmm. This was me during the local hour. Perhaps I looked like that. I was a little pointy and aggressive. <laughs> but I am not that person. And I don't know the nature of the beef either because this is the first I'm hearing of it. At least bring the, do me the courtesy of bringing it to me before you tell everybody that doesn't seem like how Not we do how it beefs work dude. right yeah. you, know, you bring it you don't be permission to make fun of no, politely it. tells you I no mean. you don't beef personally before you beef publicly or no no no, no that's not no. the way it works yeah you think aaron Rodgers told kimmel that he's gonna say what he said no you just say it and the explosion <laughs> happens and you enjoy it do you think it's beef or flattery i think it's racist hmm. whoa hmm it's a good-looking man. Was it an you. option? Which one? The guy pointing at me is a good-looking man. I don't look anything like that. Yeah. No, he's a good-looking man. <laughs> he's in a good mood again. Look at him. <laughs> Look, look, I, well, look, 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 look. When you get the Hakeem Nix laugh, or Hicks, whatever his name is, Hakeem Nix, Hakeem you got to enjoy it. It's the highest of honors. You're Exa right. It is. Yes, yes. yes. I pray for that. Yep. There's always that five-second pause. What are you going to get? And then Hakeem laughs, and it just wa the joy washes over me. It's fantastic. That's actually a fair confusion. There was an Hakeem Hicks, and then there's Hakeem Nix. So I understand thank, how you missed that Thank you for up. that, Jeremy. Thank you. You're welcome. You. That's good to know. You know, your jacket's the same color as well as that handsome guy in the video. <laughs> and and, and your, your shirt's unbuttoned a couple of times. Wasn't his as well? Could be a coincidence. Probably is. Big, wrist, big loose wristwatch as well. Huh. How about that? I'm just saying, how about that? It's up to you guys to answer. Whoa! And now, really? it is time to take a trip down memory lane. Is that right? Here's your guy, wow. Greg Cody, with oh. Back in My Day. Okay, all right. They Oops. really did nail it on Bo, though. <laughs> they did. Mine's racist. My father's more cartoonishly racist. But, all right, here we go. Briefcases! <laughs> Where did they go? Growing up there with a natural appendage attached to well-dressed businessmen everywhere. You wore a fedora with a sharp crease and a pipe clamped in your confident maw over a tweed Brooks Brothers suit and you held the leather handle of a briefcase. The briefcase was the imprimatur of prestige and something a swirl in magic and mystery. You could guess and didn't care what was in the toolboxes and lunch pails carried by the blue collar set, but the briefcase held secrets hinted sophistication, conveyed importance. What's inside that sleek, classic latched attache or more casual strapped satchel being held with such nonchalance 
by that urbane conquistador striding with such an assured gait. Probably important documents in there, or blueprints. Perhaps a high-level dossier, or files for the McGillicuddy account. If you were carrying a briefcase, you were a man or woman on a mission, sailing along city streets like the prow of a ship, walking cocksure as Tony Manero in the opening credits of Saturday Night Fever, and surely headed for a boardroom. Other pedestrians parted as you strode past, and in your wake said to themselves with an admiring nod, there goes a professional man. Now? Now someone seen carrying a briefcase is about as common as a man wearing a Lincoln stovepipe or a woman in a Carmen Miranda fruit hat. The briefcase is on the endangered list headed for extinction. Now all you see are people sloughing slump-shouldered from carrying slovenly backpacks, the very lowest rung on the luggage ladder. The only people who need to carry backpacks are students with textbooks in them, the original intended use, and folks ascending a trail on a hike. Why are you carrying a laptop in a backpack? That's beneath the laptop, demeaning. The laptop deserves to be in a briefcase nestled between the ream of sales figures and the legal briefs. Not only the rising scourge of backpacks, soft shoulder bags and totes have killed the briefcase. The trend to more casual workplace environments has too. So is technology as we're become an increasingly paperless society. All of those files once contained so regally in a briefcase may now be scrolled through on an iPhone. Save that staple of Americana, the briefcase, before it's too late. Enjoy again the delight of that simple sound as those twin latches snap shut and then open to reveal who you are. I'm Greg Cody, and that's how it was back in my day. Artfully done, as always. It is why we like as to, always as we like to have it around here. Well, he doesn't do it always, but when he does do it, it is always artfully done. Yes. Here's one thing you guys don't seem to respect about Greg Cody, and I'm with him on this one because uh, I think it is disrespectful. I think it's offensive to him that you don't understand because none of you could how hard it is to write that, how long it takes, how much time must be taken to craft something like that. It's not easy easy to do weekly. He does it four times a week as a living for a newspaper. We're making him write columns and he wants them respected when he reads them. And we've been disrespecting them around here by cutting them off. I am articulating the source of your rage correctly, right? Yeah, somewhat. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for that. Well, I mean, those are hard to do. And writing <laughs> funny is the hardest thing. You've got a book signing tonight. Books are hard to do. I haven't been able to summon the courage to write one of those. It's super hard. You're alone with your thoughts. It's lonely, and you want to take care of Ron McGill when you do it because he's tasked you with great care yes. on writing something for him, and you take it as an honor. Right. And that's that's what you guys are signing tonight. That's why you're going to get a monster crowd out there. Yeah, no, I, I have super respected being invited to write this book with Ron McGill and, and succeeding at it. I think the reception, too, has been very good, and that's gratifying to me. It's something unlike anything I've ever done in my long checkered career, and it's been uh, it's been wonderful. the The whole experience has been terrific. How are the checks? Uh, I, I haven't gotten one yet. Wow! But, you know, I don't do. You it should for look the, into that. I yeah. don't. I don't do it for the money. Yes, you do. Truth. No, I do not. <laughs> no, I don't. Thinking holdouts, you guys. <laughs> yes. Have we gotten past the tension? We're done. We can go back to the college football game that Mike wants to talk about so much. Billy's happy for Michigan. I yeah, can't. I'm believe. happy for Michigan. Wow. You guys aren't? You're not happy for Jim Harbaugh? No. Why? <laughs> well, I, I, I want a national champion that, that isn't, doesn't carry the baggage of scandal. I, is that too much to ask? They all so, carry you baggage. You guys are so cute that you think everyone's so pure in college right. football. I, I don't. I don't think everyone's pure, but I think when you get caught to the extent Michigan was caught and your coach is suspended for the last three key games of the season, that something's wrong and that there's a little bit of an asterisk feel – to this championship. But having said that, I'm glad Michigan finally has won something because I'm so sick and tired. Michigan and, and I would put Notre Dame in this category. Michigan and Notre Dame, for most of my adult life, and I'm old, have been seen as these wonderful top five college mega programs. And, and finally, they win a championship. And, and before the one they, they shared in 1997, they hadn't won since 1948. Yet they're preening around the country as this major mega program. Finally, they have something to back it up. 
Well, well they, for them. Jim's, they, they, that's Jim's dream. He got his won. dream yesterday. They yeah, won. Nice he won. Moment. Edit, they won. He won at his school. He's in the ring of honor for the Colts. I think he was 22 and 28 there. Like this is <laughs> this. Is, you can make the argument that this is the only way we could do the dirty, soiled love story in sports these days. Harbaugh wins. Hooray! Was it worth it? Everyone thinks you're a cheater. Yeah, it's worth it. He's going to get his big contract. And the Harbaugh's have conquered coaching. Mm -hmm. That family has done. Belichick's getting run out of the sport. Who runs the game now? Harbaugh's. Does Jim root against John now? It's like, hey, this is my moment. Huh. If, if the Ravens it's win it in question. a few weeks, right. it's like, oh, now it's all it's the it's the John show again. That John has a second Super Bowl, right? It's a fair point. Yeah, I wouldn't be rooting for my brother. Mm -hmm. Do you guys know how crazy it is? The Kelsey's turned the brotherhood in football into the biggest podcast in America. I would not listen to a Harbaugh podcast if that's oh, what you're trying to go down. That I would, with their dad. As hell. Oh, with their oh dad. God, that sounds like a nightmare. Talk about paper clips and plants and, and shit. And milk. Who cares? Who, exactly right. Who could oh. John Harbaugh date to skyrocket that thing up to the top? You know, Jim Harbaugh was this close to going to a Super Bowl with the Colts. There was a Hail Mary that was yes. briefly caught in an AFC championship great game. Great run, yeah. Had a great See, run. He was called Captain Comeback. A Deserves episode, to be in the Ring of Honor. Whole yep. episode on lined paper. Mm -hmm. And then he punched Jim Kelly, broke his hand, was out for a season, and, uh, and enabled them to draft Peyton Manning. Ugh. I hope you guys do understand that... Uh, he what? punched Jim Kelly? Yeah, we've recently done this. Uh, but yeah, He's Jim Harbaugh. Jim Harbaugh changed the course of professional football history when he took exception yeah. to something that Jim Kelly said when he was a member mm -hmm. of the media. As the story goes, Jim Harbaugh punched out Jim Kelly, hurt his hand in the process, was forced out for the season. Colts were really bad, allowing them to draft Peyton Manning. Wow. A year after he was supposed to go to the Jets, but he decided to come back to yeah. school when the Jets had the number one draft pick. Such a great story. Wow. All of it. In the ring of honor for the Colts, 22 and 28. 23 and 30. That's a fun. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I a got big it one. wrong. What happened? 23 and 30. You got the record wrong. Damn it. Ring Still of honor. not very good. <laughs> wow. Overall point, kind of the same. But at a playoff run. I mean. Come on. You can't get in the ring. Put it on the poll at Levitar Show. Do you get in the ring of honor for a playoff run? Jimmy well, Johnson must have been like, oh, come on. Wins aren't a QB stat. We know that. Did he have beef with Ditka? Harbaugh, I mean, he always had kind of contentious relationships with his quarterback. Mike, if you want to actually get me interested in what's happening here, the Harbaugh's as leadership clinic for dominating football that John Lynch and the Shanahan's want to dominate from over there, that Baltimore is better at professional football than anybody, and that Harbaugh is better at college football than anybody, that's kind of crazy. That's Serena Williams and Venus Williams dominating a sport coming from the same womb crazy. Dude, we just kind of glossed over that they went head-to-head -head in a Super Bowl once. And it was a great game. Yeah. The power went out. Jim or John. Yep. Mm. Classic yep. sports fan game we played that year. <laughs> I would love – can we get some sports fan video right now nah. and just, uh, and Ooh, just calm pl or panic. play it in the next segment? Please, please, please. <laughs> That's not how the show works. <laughs> Books and books and the Gables, okay? Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. Mm -hmm. Not going to be there. To support your friends, mm -hmm. to support Ron McGill and Greg Cody. You're always telling us how much you love Greg Cody. I do love Greg Cody. He's one of your favorite people I'll in the world. Mm -hmm. I love him from my house. I love him right in this studio. I don't love him at Books and Books and Coral Gables tonight. I mean, I just don't. Yeah. I don't but expect it, people from the show to go. We're on the air. Right. We're on the air. Oh, uh, what are you I'll doing, I'll support Greg? Greg by buying the book. How's that sound? You won't do that either. Uh, how, that sounds like a lie is how that sounds. It really does. Or buy it and not read it. <laughs> yeah, Both of those things. You, are you, you gonna... gave him one for free. I mean, he doesn't need two. Right. It's so just I won't greedy. buy it and exactly. I won't read it. Yeah. Are you going dressed like that? No, I am not. Okay. I will be dressing up slightly. Not a whole lot. As much slightly. as I am? Are you going to be wearing the yeah. press box collection yeah. again? I really like that. No, I think I'll wear like a, uh, a pullover. Uh, I used to call it a jersey, but my wife gets all angry whenever I refer to it as a jersey because she thinks a jersey is only what athletes wear on the field. Right. It, historically so. Ridiculous take. Right. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> right. no. She calls it a pullover, so now she has me brainwashed into calling it a pullover. <laughs> But they it's ridiculous. <laughs> exactly. Well said. Zagaki. Right, yeah. 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 Zagaki. Brad. Zagaki. You know you can't overdo. Bye. You can't overdo something. You know when you have over and out. When you have catchphrases you like me, you got to use them sparsely. <laughs> yeah, never know. Oh dear God. <laughs> Boy, that was awful. Five dollars, please. You haven't and paid. You know it. But <laughs> 
You haven't paid any fines. Uh, You've been you, all three. I got nothing. They. We already did that one. I know, but it's worth repeating. It's <laughs> no. coming from my mouth. It's yeah. the original. Why are you holding your phone okay. right now? <laughs> That's a fact, Jack. Why are you, are you holding your phone? phone? Is it because you're trying to Google CircleLasVegas.com <laughs> slash stadium No, I'm ready to go. Whenever oh, you're ready. not ready to go. Right, go ahead. Go. All right. Let's, uh, uh, Chris Cody, get cameras ready here. Let's yeah, do Chris, this, Chris, get please. those cameras ready. Get yeah. the cameras ready right yeah. now. Uh, you've got Greg Cody ready to keep up with Mike Ryan as he gives uh, – he gives the link that hopefully we'll give you without asking you to write Can, a web address. Is his browser up? Because last I checked, it was just on megaphone checking his podcast number. That's all he's been doing. <laughs> That's all he's been doing. Numbers are good. All right. Looking I'm told that we have the shot. So here we go, Greg, in five, four, three, two, one. CircuitLasVegas.com slash stadium dash swim slash Dan dash Levitard dash show. Misspelled Levitard. Hang on. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Take your time. Got it. Nailed it. Mm. Uh, we can see your computer. Nothing has changed. It's, can you press enter? enter? Hit, hit enter. enter. The Dan Levitard show with Stu Goss. No, like it's Vegas. a Google search. No, like, it's a Google search. Like the put Google it in the web address. Yeah, what do you do? You gotta, do you know how to search? That. No, no, no. Put it in like the search bar on, up top. Is like that the web address. Www? Yeah, the, yes, w, yes. the yes. World Wide Web. Tell, you yes. didn't tell me. That's not what you but did. But it's yeah, implied yeah, when he goes, right, Circle Las Vegas. Right, All right, fine. We'll do it your way. www.circlelasvegas.com slash stadium dash swim slash Dan dash Levitard dash show. Wait, just slow down, Mike. Hold on, just copy and paste. Do I need to say HTTPS? You can copy Get out of here. I'm doing this. He already typed it. No, no, copy, paste. But he already typed it. Just copy and paste what you type. No. He's not found. Yeah, of course, because Christopher's in there talking about Tim Kirch and bungling things up. Type it in. Now type it in. Wait, get out of... All right, that's very clear. I copied and pasted it. No copy and paste. This is ridiculous. can't do that. No respect for All right, he's on the page. Can you RSVP? Type it again. Again. He's all, it again. already on He's the page. He's on the page. It's right there. It's already on the page. <laughs> starting again, man. Yeah, it's How ridiculous. It? I typed it in. He uh, wouldn't let me Google Google and paste or whatever. Bad day up. Google and Copy paste. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. <laughs> but now Christopher left the page entirely. Are do you, you want? Do you want are you ready for RSVP back in my day? No. That he, yes. He, anything to get no. away from this. <laughs> and now ridiculous. it is time to take a trip down memory lane. Here's your guy. Copy and paste it. He's like erasing back it in my day. Enabling, disabling me from copying and pasting. <laughs> You okay? I mean. Yeah. <laughs> you owe money. You have been getting out of fines for weeks. You keep right. you could distract us with your general incompetence. Right. You owe like twenty five dollars to Jessica. Well, Dan finds you when you picked up your phone. It was odd. It was odd. <laughs> right. You, you didn't know we were on air when this segment started. Well, you know, nobody tells me. We're right here doing yeah. the show next no, to you. We're having a conversation. Right. It, it, it had the vibe and the the heft, the rhythm and rhyme of a of an off air conversation. Huh. Yeah, never know. Oh, that's what you did. <laughs> wow. That's five dollars. That's how. Di- Sexy. Yeah, never know. Oh. Yeah, baby. Woo. Yeah, never know. Oh. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Wow. I got a bottle. That's. Are you turned on by your own voice? Yeah, never Damn. know. And you know. Every it's Tuesday. A nap. You right. never know. Oh. Do you want me to pay money or do you want me to read it back in my day? <laughs> it's up to you. Why are Circa you? CircleLasVegas.com slash stadium dash Why are you swim, aroused by the, the dash, sound of your Fleming show. voice? Well, listen it's, to it. Yeah. You yeah, never know. Oh. oh, yeah, man. I sound like a cowboy out on the trail under a Ticonderoga wagon with a... <laughs> you yeah, never some, know. Oh. Beans over a pot. Yeah, you do. Uh, yeah. Beans yeah. over a pot. Uh, yeah. Fritos. Yes. Warm right. fire. Fritos, yeah. yes. Fritos. <laughs> yeah, that? never know. Oh. Woo! Yeah. Can't get enough of that. I'm telling you. <laughs> I want to make a whole album out of that sound. Me doing that on a continuous loop for 35, 40 minutes. I'd buy it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> just like you bought my book. But seriously. All right, you want me to pay or you want me to read? I want you to you pay. You can only do one? Fine. Hang on. All right. Yeah, never know. Oh, scared see how much money I have. I'm saving all my money for bowling tomorrow night. Oh, yeah. big night. Yeah, never know. Oh.
Dollar beer night or bowling's not cheap, man. What do I owe? Five bucks? You owe twenty five dollars from the possible? last right. several weeks. That's like an you, outrage. it's not an outrage. Yeah, you really never, is. you God. never pay any of your fines. You never know. Oh. That's an outrage. How you been throwing it there. lately, Greg? <laughs> At the old alley. He's been struggling. Uh, last week I I bowl like shit. <laughs> I've been on a run though, right, Christopher? You had a run a few weeks back, but the last couple have been a little huh. Yeah. Well, last week was bad. Uh, the previous three weeks, I kicked ass. You go for the beers, though. I mean, eh, you know. Yes. Fun. Let's put it this way: my third of three games is usually my worst. <laughs> so you put two and two together. You know what I'm saying? That kind of thing. Uh, I know. It, you yeah. know. Yeah. I mean, those uh, bon- Modelo buckets—they're uh, kicking my ass and Miller me Light smile. buckets. You said. Well, you know what? The, they do give me dancing swords, but that's not the biggest problem. You know, because they have two lovely bathrooms there. The one at the end of the alley that you got to walk farther from, further to, beautiful bowling uh, bathroom. Compared you to the first never one. know. Oh. The nearest one is ridiculous. Hmm. Is it worth the walk though? I mean, it is. Yeah. Believe me. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Because it's got stalls. Right. You know, it's got yeah. little privacy. Mm-hmm. You know, not just the urinals. They right. both have stalls. Well, the, the 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 other one has one stall, retrograde. This is two or three stalls, modern. Right. You know. But, but the walk, they make you earn it, which makes you enjoy it more, I think. It does. Yeah. Plus, it, it, you know, you're allowed to saunter. Mm-hmm. You, um, you're allowed to people watch. That's one of the great things I love about bowling is the people watching. It's just a, it's a, it's a, a carnival atmosphere. It's my people. I'm on the midway. You know? You ever t- sachet at all? Or? Who needs me? What? <laughs> Dummy. All right, you want me to get started here? I hear the music in the background. It's, it's it's playing playing yeah, never know. Oh. Okay, please don't uh, do that again before, during my reading. Before, of the... before we get to what yeah. you're doing here, um, do you want to tell the story of, of who needs me? Why, dummy? Because that's what you closed with. Right. And I don't know that anyone knows the entire story of what that is. Would who you needs like... me, dummy? What? What? Who needs me? Now we get it. Okay. See a donkey. You're, goes, you're gonna go to Buffalo with Bernie Pomeley? <laughs> that was uh, you never know. Oh. Former Dolphins offensive coordinator Gary Stevens would come into the press room with a, a cigarette burning in his lips, and he said, "What? Who needs me?" That kind of thing. You know, he was a good guy. Loved Gary Stevens. You're gonna go you to Buffalo. You never know. Oh. oh my God! Now see, at first I found that sexy. And now it's beginning. It's to really always been me. disgusting. <laughs> you yeah, never know. And you finding it sexy made it more really? disgusting. No. Yes. Bernie Pomeroy. Okay, but what's the rest of the what's the rest of the saying? Uh, who needs me? What? Dummy. Over and out. Yeah, never know. Oh. <laughs> the what and the dummy. Where do those come from? <laughs> from Gary Stevens. Yeah, he said that. He We're would, all keeping up. He yeah. would saunter into the press room, unrequested, with a cigarette and the unannounced, lighting, yeah. and say, "Who needs me?" Yeah, never know. Oh. As if we had all requested him, and nobody had. And you don't get that nowadays. The offensive coordinator for the Miami Dolphins, who had Dan Marino at the end, yes, who helped end. Dan Marino's career. Uh, well, there were others who did that. I well, they kept I... going to Buffalo and losing with right, Bernie Pomeroy. That's true, yeah. yeah. <laughs> who needs me? That's what happened to us. That's what happened to this city on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> it was, you're going to go to Buffalo. <laughs> what? And and they those teams also had a defensive coordinator named Tom Olivadotti. Uh, and his big thing was uh, they just gave up, uh, you know, 293 yards rushing to Buffalo. And he would say something like this. You know what? You take away that 91-yard run and that 78-yard run, and we really didn't defend them that badly. <laughs> yeah, he was famous for that. He did. They both, you know. That wasn't on air. They both coached for the cobbler. I mean, the cobbler did not hire bad assistant coaches, and these two were top of the line. I'm not making fun of Gary Stevens and Tom Olivadotti. Oh, yeah, they, you are. They were great oh, yeah, OCs are. and DCs for a beautiful winning team. They just, like the modern Dolphins, they just struggled You're not to making Buffalo. fun of Gary Stevens. 30 years later. Hey. Was he responsible for QK, too? Yeah, never know. Oh. No, the QK is, is something so totally different. Oh. Nobody does it like me. Is that when you have the dancing swords? Yeah. 
Nobody is is sits and rises from the ring of honor as quickly as Greg. It's Cody. a cute a quick crap is yeah. what he calls a QK. A QK. No, we you know. never know. Oh, do you QK me. at the close bathroom or the far bathroom at the alley? Oh, I don't I, I don't QK in public. Really? No. Ever? No, ever? That's, that's just. But no one does it to you. Oh, no rarely, one does it like you. Rarely, if ever. Hmm. You yeah. never know. Oh. I have to be comfortable to QK. But when I go in for a QK, I'm a man of my words. Your mother will even say, you're out already? Yeah, because I don't make a ritual of it. I sit, mm-hmm. you do your thing, you wipe, and you're you're done. And you wash your hands. Yeah, of course you wash Sometimes. your hands. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Say, Unless you're Say, rent rooms to let 50 cents. Everybody. No pool, no pond, no pets. Uh, I'm I Greg ain't Cody got Cody no cigarettes. Uh, but... A great song, Roger Miller. Okay. Briefcases. <laughs> no, you're not going to get away with that that easily with Greg Cody. I've just gotten an earful, an earful during not the break. Happy. No, his despondence right now. Yeah. He is so disappointed in me for allowing it to happen. Mm-hmm. The Back in My Day is supposed to be sacred. It is done every Tuesday for, you know... Six or seven times a year. <laughs> and it's supposed to be sacred. And I promised him that we will not. <laughs> I, I've promised him we will not walk him into the hard network out anymore on his back in my day. But that's also sacred. <laughs> well, this is the problem. That's the best show we can do. The last five minutes of that. And Greg Cody. <laughs> that is a problem. And Greg Cody was enraged when it was done. <laughs> like legitimately mad at me for allowing a perfect comedic joke with perfect timing because he hates the hard network out, always has. It makes him a fool. But back in my day is supposed to be sacred. That is a space where we don't do that to him. And so his anger is righteous and it's earned because Thank he's you. told me two or three times for us not to do that. Correct. Not get over it. It was funny. We ran out of time. I'm sorry. It was Dan's yeah. fault. He kept asking follow-ups. We were I, trying to. Get, Greg was ready to go. I, be, yep. I beg your forgiveness, Greg Cody, dear friend. I am sorry. That was the fault of them for not knowing you and I have had multiple conversations Our about faults. this. I blame Lebetard. Thank you. Captain's got to take responsibility. Also, you got to pay a fine. That's the second time that you said that that game between the Bills and Dolphins happened on Monday yeah. night. Yeah. Five bucks. It was a Sunday night game. Mm-hmm. Last night was Monday night. It was yeah, a national championship game. <laughs> yep. We let it slide the first time. Fine. <laughs> You'll pay the fine. I, I earned it. A lot of money in the uh, in the bucket. I'm still enraged that somebody stole. Like I, somebody actually stole from the, the from the bucket. Who? I wish I knew. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> it wasn't me, but no one's gonna believe me. Don't worry, I'm protecting it. Oh, great. We're all safe. Wow. Mm. Greg Cody, forgive me. Yeah. Let's make the space now. If you would do me the you favor. Got an old wallet there, huh? An old fashioned wallet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe My a holiday fold. gift congrats. idea. Yeah. Look at that. This Try it fold wallet. or. Did you say congrats? You can use yeah. a money clip. You I'm guessing you don't need 80% of the stuff in that no, wallet. No, I need Bifold. all of it. Really? Okay, let's go through. Do you have a picture of your wallet. Yeah, let's go through your wallet. No chance you need all of that stuff. Would love to know everything that's in there. Yes. I will. Uh, you want to you want to do this instead of the back in my day? <laughs> yeah, no, not no, instead. No, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. We got plenty of time. Yeah, Go ahead. I see a Sears credit card. Mm-hmm. You, you no way. way. We're not in a time crunch. You have a Sears credit card. Sears yeah. is bankrupt. Well, there's you, still one open. You guys simply want to know what is in my. We're trying wallet. to help you out. It, yeah. it says a lot about a man. The ingredients right. of his wallet. An old-fashioned bank and debit card. Put it down quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Has the chip a, not that a old. corporate card? Corporate card. Corporite card. No, no, not those. those. Could use yeah. No, it's it's Levitard Enterprises. Why would you have Ooh, a corporate card for Levitard oh. Enterprises? <laughs> no. oh. Why yeah. wouldn't I? What, what's the security code in the back? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you? What, what do you mean? Why don't I have one of those a Levitard part Enterprises? Of the enterprise, I mean. Levitard Enterprises. Whoa. Whoa. Sounds like it's about to take the off. The guy's a one-man enterprise. Fly over through here. the air. I've got uh, an insurance card. Oh, nice. Uh, 
for, nice. for your car or for HMO, you? HMO, PPO, what are we? I've got an American Express card. Mm, black. Black. Yeah. Got to be gold It is not least. black. Platinum? Gold? It can't be gold? black. No, Drop it. Just, Let's hear how loud it is. It's just a silver card. Yeah, what's the number on it? Oh, platinum. Platinum. Do you sign your cards? So mm. Most people forget. Tricky yeah, game. Tricky I game. Don't. It is. Yeah, you got to get yeah. the right pen for it. Yeah. I think you're going to be disappointed with the sound. Oh, Ooh, no, that's a good sound. Yeah, that's a good sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heavy it's got some, guard. some yeah. to it. Yeah, good mm-hmm. guard. Girthy. Yeah. <laughs> you got a good one. <laughs> okay. Good bounce, too. <laughs> Let me see what this is. I got to get my glasses. Put them on over I'm my I'm just eye. waiting for you to get to the hotel keys that you never threw out. Oh, I hate oh, yeah. that. I, <laughs> keep oh, I have, there. like, four of those. It. I keep oh. souvenirs. My, my voter information place for card. My, my voter information card. What's yeah. that say? What party affiliation? It might actually. No, I changed it to Democrat a few years ago. Oh, really? I I kept mine Republican just so I can work them from the inside. It was, it was, mine has been rubbed with Republican going, since I was 18. I'll let you know when the when, a difference, when Nikki Haley wins a primary in a shot in a stunner. Uh, my auto insurance card and my driver's license. What are you, a Geico man? Are we going to do that? Like, you guys aren't Good invasive question. enough with this. So, this is basically that's your, it? your nosiness. That, yeah, that's it. There's a lot more in there. Yeah, there's Not a lot, lot of more cash. in there. Yeah. slash stadium dash. Some actual win receipts on some things that I have to uh, return. Ooh, what do you got to return, Dan? Oh, wow. some, some Christmas gifts. Costumes. Ooh. Did I see a Benjamin in there? Are you going to read I think I did. Yeah, there, there are some hundreds yeah, in yeah, there. Damn right there are. Of course. <laughs> yeah. The visual of you waiting in a return line at that Target is great. thing. It's great. Then he's. You guys are real busy buddies. You guys really got invasively into my wallet there. Oh, it's right. a big wallet. So you return stuff? It's just I a mean, fun game. I'd like to do it with Sugats. What's in your wallet? Uh, I don't have a wallet. All right, what's in your money wad of, <laughs> of stuff? A lot of money. Whoa. All right, let's count. Good gambling week. I got an Arigo Margate business card. <laughs> just everything's <laughs> loose. Arigo Dodge. <laughs> in the market for you know? cheap. Yeah. Got to go. Trucker van. Uh, I have a Visa card. I have a Bank of America card, my driver's license. A Visa upgrade card. What does that get you? I don't know. Upgrades? Uh, Wait, how does it work? Uh, it's good to have it on your person it's just a credit in case. card. Yeah, it's okay. just a credit card. That's all. That's, That's all I have. It? Yeah. That's nothing and then the rest is just cash? Uh, yeah, the rest is cash. And you just leave all of that no, loose no in betting, your pocket. No betting slips from the stardust? No, no. It's no. a miracle uh, he doesn't lose things more often. That's what I'm saying. How do you do that? <laughs> do you guys think it's unusual to have receipts? Physical, actual receipts? Oh, not yeah. the one yes. on Tua. Yeah. The physical, actual receipts <laughs> yes. on, on an expensive clothing that you have bought that you need to return because you're a fool who doesn't know how to buy things for his I wife. I put myself in so many quagmires by just... You know, throwing those out. I can't stand tags or receipts. Buying your wife clothes, that's a hard thing they to do. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't my do experience. it. Yeah, I just do it do online. It. Right. It's in the computer, right? Mm-hmm. The purchase. You don't need a receipt. Um, I've been told that. Not sure that's yeah. true. With a, I, 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 I it might be up. in the computer, but I'd like to prove to them in the case that it's not in the computer that here is my proof. Ah, it's, okay. it, that's right. the point of a receipt. Okay. Well, back up. Yeah. It's not a backup. It's the point. I used to bring home receipts for <laughs> You're everything. You're assuming they're lying to you. The I, I would bring home computer. a receipt it's the whole from point Burger Stop interrupting, Greg. We're being rude. <laughs> no, I'm just saying I used to bring home receipts for everything. I'd go to Burger King. I'd bring home a receipt. And then I was convinced by my wife that you don't need to bring home any receipts anymore, that everything is in somebody's system. She may be right. She may be wrong. If we haven't done this with you. What else is in your wallet? She may be crazy. Can you find wow. it? Yeah, go. Oh, your, your wallet's in your, your wallet's in your computer briefcase. Bag. He was Oddly making enough. fun of my wallet while having a wallet that he just keeps in a briefcase. No, his is a trifold. Trifold yeah, wallet. Different. Yeah. 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 Different. This totally all, in, different. in the wallet world, the trifold looks down on the bifold. It's yes. true. I gotta tell you that. Yeah. Look yes. at this. Yeah. Put it on the poll, please, Juju. At Levitard Show. In the wallet world, does the trifold <laughs> look down? Put them next to each other, just bifold. so we see it. You know. Well, he was making fun of the size of my wallet. Look down. Look down. Wow, his wallet is smaller than yours, dude. Even though it's a trifold. Exactly right. That's right. The trifold looks down on the bifold. Yeah. Fat yeah. Amex yes. is big, yeah. man. Yeah, that's a fat wallet. Trifold right is there. laughing at you. Yeah, yeah, wallet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, what's in there? The usual stuff. You know, I got a driver's license. Uh, what do I got here? I got a Duffy's MVP card. <laughs> that's <laughs> what I'm talking about. <laughs> wait, a, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's, what's that? What? When's the last time you used that? Like Tell Dan us more. doesn't know. Yeah. Tell us more. It, it's, I don't know what it is. You know, you, you give it every time and you accrue money. Right. And yeah. then you go back uh, three times from now and they say, hey, you, you got uh, $43 here. You want to use Free it for meal. lunch? I yeah. said, yeah. Yep. Chicken Caesar yeah. wrap. Smart. Yeah. Um, let's see. What do I got here? I got a Magnum condom. 
Um, we won't get that out. That's shocking. Um, <laughs> here's a picture of Christopher when he was like three years old. Right next to the condo. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah As a subtle reminder. It. Yeah. Forever, forever. Never forget. Yeah. It's a what fail else? safe. Here's my wife when I uh, first met her and married her. We got all kind of photos in here. But I don't have the photo sleeve anymore, so I have to put oh. them among credit cards. It's terrible. Mm. I got a credit card. Ooh, I got my voter ID. And condoms. Yeah. I what party a, affiliation? I got something from the animal hospital. My original social security card. Oh, I don't wow. Wanna, the original? I yeah, I don't wow. want to show anybody the numbers. So hold it up shit. for the camera. Yeah. So we can no, it. it's got my number on it. <laughs> oh. Insane. And that's about it. You know, a couple other things. Anyways, briefcases. Yeah. Oh, we, are we doing this now? No, I'll get cut off at this point. It's too late. It's too late in the segment. No, no, no. I'm no. not going there. We make concessions for the clock. No, you're going to cut me off. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I am yeah, not. I'm not doing it right I now. don't do the cutting off. I'm going to... Do you realize in a minute and 20 seconds, I will be like halfway through it. You'll cut me off. No, I won't. And everybody will laugh, and I will be genuinely pissed. Oh, Greg, we can move the clocks around so that we can finish this yeah, up, and then we'll what, go a shorter segment on the next one. Bull. That's what you say now, and I don't believe you. I don't believe you. When have I ever lied to you? Uh, many times when it comes to a, a cheap laugh on this show. No, I'm not going to have... Fair I'm criticism. Gonna, I'm not going to have back in my day interrupted twice. I'm just not going to do it. Mm. That kind of thing, and you know it. Not going to do it, and you know it. We're just going to skip past. What? <laughs> I, uh, that is weird, wild stuff. I did not know that. But dap Eisner. Actually, now it's Iger. Isn't it weird? They, I, they went from Eisner to Iger. What a beautiful thing for me. Eisner. And there was a Chappic era. But... Iger. Iger. I, it's just not my show. I mean, is this the Greg Cody show all of a sudden? I'm not the one with the mic in his hand. And you know it. Magnum condom? Yeah, damn right. <laughs> this is the new and unimproved Dan Levitar show with the Stugats. Gamble on by DraftKings. <laughs>